Hi everybody, I'm Raphael and I hope that everybody has enjoyed the conference thus far. Today I'll be talking about backing test automation using the robot framework and some UI. I started the process by identifying the existing problems, which is what test automation aimed to alleviate or improve dramatically. The first issue was that the manual regression testing process was quite time consuming. Tests were initiated using a website front end and then database state transitions were then checked to confirm that these were occurring as expected. Any subsequent transitions depending on the test scenario were done using web service requests which were initiated using a custom testing client. The testing process was thus time-consuming, tedious to perform, and also very repetitive. Another issue was that uh, existing unit tests were not being um, maintained by developers, and this stemmed from unit testing not being a priority to maintain. Developer priority is to um, add functionality and also to fix any pressing bugs. Implementing test automation thus aim to improve these existing problems. Another byproduct would be that tests could be run more often, they could be run unattended and also much quicker. And it would thus free up the testers' time to focus on whatever change they want they needed to test. Moving on to the considerations for the test automation framework. The use of existing tools used in the organization was prioritized. This would allow internal skills and knowledge to be leveraged and time would be saved as a result. These tools included Robot Framework and SOPY. Robot Framework, as we all are aware, is keyword driven and it allows the transition to be a lot easier for manual testers to move towards automating their own tests. Similarly, the SOAP UI interface has an easy learning curve and it is worthwhile mentioning that the open source SOAP UI version was used at my organization. Existing test scripts will also be used where possible as this would save on the time needed for test, um, for test scripting. And all of the above considerations were helpful for the proof of concept which is a process which needs to be undertaken at my organization prior to any new tool or process being implemented. A brief overview on SOAP UI for, for those of you not familiar with the tool. It is a Java-based tool and allows you to run SOAP and RESTful requests. There is also a assertion functionality which allows you to verify responses. The ability is also available to string together multiple steps for linked requests. Uh, so you can run more complex tests. And groovy based scripting, which is based on Java, is also available to extend functionality. The open source version has certain functionality uh, restricted uh, when compared to the, um, the paid ready API version but the functionality that was available was more than sufficient for the particular tasks that needed to be undertaken. Next, I'll be giving an overview of the manual testing process. The diagram on screen is a common scenario for regression testing. There have been numerous permutations on this exact process. Uh, this starts with placing an order um, with different types of items and different payment methods and also involves uh, waiting for processing to, to take place um, which involves checking the database. The process is very repetitive as well as one can gather. The bits I've highlighted um, on the diagram all need to be done before you get to the point of what it is you actually done to test. The above process is also um, time consuming as the, um, as the website interface is used, which is why a web service based approach was investigated to replace all of the highlighted steps. 
put together um, this initial automation visualization just to give insight into my thoughts after the detailed uh, test scenarios were captured. This started with uh, the place order um, aspect, which um, involved restful requests, um, which were which already existed. And then uh, there's the complete uh, payment aspect, uh, which involved the SOAP request, both of um, the place order and complete payment would be done using SOAP UI. The order processing aspect would then be done um, using a robot framework, uh, where the various database checks would be done. And any additional order updates, such as um, returns, as an example, uh, a combination of robot framework and SOAP UI could be used. To, uh, to speed up the test execution time, uh, the, the various tests could then be run in parallel uh, using um, the work framework as well. So this was just going to be, this was just my initial thoughts. Um, the practice was going to work quite nicely. I was going to leave this one out of the park. There were numerous challenges with the test automation implementation. The first of these being the data exchange uh, between the testing tools, uh, Robot Framework and SOAP UI. There was no suitable library available to exchange data, with something loosely meeting requirements last being updated in 2012, so this was a bit of uncharted territory. After some initial research, managed to trigger the SOAP UI test using command prompt in Robot Framework. I further elaborated on this by creating a custom uh, Python library, which I'll demonstrate in, in another slide. I uh, needed to do additional research for the data exchange. Uh, eventually settled on Excel, which is a format that both tools could read from and write to. So that's, that's how we sorted out that particular issue. The, the second challenge was getting developer assistance. Uh, one of the examples was this was the payment aspect, as I demonstrated earlier on. Uh, this was an oversight on my side, and the developers managed to assist in this regard. There were also instances where the data processing was not happening as expected, and I uh, needed assistance to get this working. Uh, without, the, the, without the dev assistance, I uh, would not have been able to proceed in a few other aspects, so it's just something very really important to consider before undertaking something similar in your particular environment. Even if it's a couple of hours each, each print, um, you could get stuck for days and it, will, uh, it could help you quite badly. Moving on to the parallel testing aspect, uh, this would definitely be needed as it would greatly reduce the test execution time. I was aware of um, an available robot framework library, Pabot, which many of you might be familiar with, but I had not used it extensively before, so I needed a bit of time in order to get this working. What this also did is reveal another shortcoming, which was the test data aspect to allow um, or facilitate rather the parallel testing um, aspect. So, needed to ensure that there was sufficient test data available and needed to manage this as well. Um, to enable this um, or parallel execution, also found out that some of the test data was not reliable for some scenarios and these were then not considered for test automation. The Python library that I created to execute the SOAP UI case in the robot framework can be seen here. Uh, this is together with the arguments and associated documentation. I also put together a revised test automation diagram to include the additional Groovy scripts, the Excel additions, as well as the database queries to illustrate the interrelated nature of the um, test automation framework. From a maintenance considerations perspective, um, this aspect is not always done with projects and this is usually because of time constraints. What was done uh, in my particular instance was that a test automation wiki was created 
This should be done in a central repository, it could be a shared drive, or it could be tools such as Confluence or SharePoint, where people can easily access the information. What this does is it enables team members to understand and maintain or improve the current test automation framework. It also prevents test automation becoming abandoned. I have seen it happen in certain instances. It should include aspects such as the setup, examples of tests, troubleshooting needs, etc. And it will also facilitate the process if someone else in the organization wants to do a proof of concept on something similar. It is also important to ensure that there is enough technically skilled staff available. There's a different skill set needed. Uh, so either technical staff or manual testers need to be trained up so that they're competent with the, um, the technical aspects of this automation. Future plans for this particular test automation implementation include the integration uh, with the CI CD pipeline, which is done in Azure DevOps. This is in addition to adding more scenarios to increase the test automation coverage. That's it from my side. Also, thank you to the Robot Framework Foundation for the opportunity uh, afforded to me to present my talk. Thank you and over to questions. Hey, Raphael, welcome to uh, Robocon. Hi, thank you very much, Joan. Um, jo uh, jo um uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed the conference thus far, and yeah, um, any questions, um, I'll try and answer where I can. All right, let's do it. Uh, first one is, why, uh, why are you using SOAP UI if we could do everything by using robot framework? Uh, good question, and it's something I'm punting in my organization, but um, there's a bit of a fragmented system where different teams are doing different things. And we're trying to get everybody's buy. And I'm personally quite a big fan of Robot Framework. I've used it for many years. But to try and get people into the ecosystem and certain people are familiar with certain tools, um, this is where I kind of um, went in this particular direction. Nice. Uh, next, next question is from uh, Trisna. She wants to know, do you, have, uh, do you use SOAP UI as a test case repository and CI pipeline? I think you said you want to implement it, but I don't know if you... Uh, have any thoughts on that? Uh, so yes, um, for some of the projects, uh, we use it as a test case repository. Um, there's one that I've created, which is for RESTful services. And there's um, a Jenkins environment that we have that also kicks that off. So um, yes, it is using that particular regard. And this is the open source version. Cool, yeah, the really, really tricky, the, uh, the pro version has some really nice features, but like you said, you get everything pretty much with that open source. Uh, Tristana also wants to know, how do you execute your test automation from SOAP UI? Okay, so there's a command line interface that you can use for this. Um, obviously, did a bit of research is not something that you find quite easily on the internet, but um, there's certain commands. There's a test runner that's built into SOAP UI, so that's, that's, um, that's what's triggered. Um, and the, the library that I've created uh, uh, kind of facilitates a lot of those um, steps, like whatever test case you have, um, where your source file is located, and any specific test cases you want to run with specific parameters. So that's basically what I've done. I've used the existing functionality, but then obviously just customize it for my particular needs. Great. And I apologize. We have these short sessions, so the, uh, we're, we're a minute over the Q&A, but I want to get to one last Q&A. Uh, it's from Deepak. Deepak says, do you have SOAP UI web services or REST APIs for testing? Which type of web services uh, are you using? So we're using both. Um, the majority and the majority are RESTful APIs, but some of the legacy ones are SOAP. So we can use them in conjunction using SOAP UI. Great. As I mentioned, uh, hopefully you're going to be in the Robocon venue because uh, if people have any other questions, they can ask you there. Uh, before we go, though, uh, Raphael, any parting words of wisdom you want to leave Robocon? Um, the conference has been fantastic. It's been my first one. Um, learned a lot uh, over the last couple of days. Lots of things that I want to talk to my colleagues about once I'm back in the office. Um, and yeah, hope everybody's enjoyed it as much as, as I have. Absolutely. I really enjoyed your session as well. So thank you so much, Raphael. Really appreciate you. Talk to you later.